Hello again, everyone. Welcome to the 175th virtual culmination ceremony of Negra's Occidental Language and Information Technology Center. My name is Red, and I will be your host for today. Before we formally begin, we would like to acknowledge the virtual presence of our distinguished guests, trainers, and staff of Knowledge C, and you, our dear graduates. We would like to extend a very warm welcome to all of you. We appreciate you taking time off your busy schedules to join us today. We would like to start this program with a prayer to be followed by the singing of the Philippine National Anthem and the Negris Hymn. May we humbly request one of our trainers, Ms. May May Pilonasco, to lead us in prayer. Let us put ourselves in the holy presence of our Lord God in heaven. Let's bow our heads. Our Father in heaven, how wonderful are the works of your hands. As we gather here today to celebrate Knowledge C's 175th culmination ceremony, a step forward into new places with new people and new experiences. Let us not forget the blessings that follow behind us for this institution, which has given us a safe place to learn and a strong foundation to build upon as we take this next step into this world. For our trainers who have so richly loved and cared for us even at our worst. For our families who have cheered us until the finish line and stood by our sides through the many bumps in the road. And on this day, Especially, we thank you, O oh Lord, for the friendship that we have found among our classmates, for all the jokes that we will laugh about in years to come, for the hardships and the tears we have endured together side by side, and for your love, O oh God, which has been made evident through the relationships we will carry with us beyond these virtual walls. Let us love each other fearlessly and seek your will earnestly all the days of our lives. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Everybody say, Amen. Malaki na ang naging bahagi ng mga kababaihan sa lipunang Pilipino. Kaisa sila sa marubdob na paghahangad ng kalayaan ng ating lahi. Kabilang sila sa paglinang ng ating makulay na sining at mayamang kultura. Kasapi sila sa pagtataguyod ng mga adhikain ng kapwa mamamayan at sa pagtugon sa mga pangangailangan ng lipunan. Katuwang sila sa pagtuklas sa mga larangan ng agham at medisina. Kapanalig sila sa pagpapairal ng batas, karapatan at katarungan para sa lahat. Kapahagi sila sa paglilingkod sa bayan at sa pagpapanatili ng demokrasyang Pilipino. Sa paglipas ng panahon, hindi nagmaliw ang kanilang pag-ibig sa ating inang bayan. Mga kababayan, ito ang alay ng mga kababaihang Pilipino para sa bayan. Tumayo po tayong lahat at sabay-sabay nating awitin ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas.
distant but today we are together in spirit gathered to ce celebrate the remarkable and unique achievements of our graduates of contact center services batches 169 to 173 we should all be delighted because culmination day is always a day of rejoicing for it marks the conclusion of our educational journey it's even worth celebrating because of your educational achievement during this time of pandemic Without further ado, now let us lend our ears and open our hearts to the welcome message of Nolit C's Vocational School Administrator. It is fitting for me to describe her exemplary leadership in enthusiasm, cemented the status of the center as an outstanding technical vocational institution. She is a true epitome of dedicated service, innovation, and resilience become. Let's hear the welcome address of Dr. Maria Cristina V. Arvisido. Thank you, Red. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our 175th culmination ceremony or our third virtual graduation for this year. I would like to warmly welcome our keynote speaker, the Honorable Congressman Francisco Kiko Benitez of the 3rd District. Good morning, sir. He is the brother of former Congressman Alvi Benitez, who is now our Provincial Consultant on Economic Affairs. It's his first time to join us, and we are all excited to hear his keynote speech later. We are also joined by our EEDD head, Ms. Lucille Helvalea, our God Focal Point person, Ms. Mary June P. Castro, and Ms. Laarne Aguilar. I am also pleased to welcome our industry partners, the parents, the trainers, and our dear graduates. I extend my warmest congratulations to all of our graduates. I know you are all eager to receive your certificates today. The labor force requirement of the information technology and business process management or the IT BPM sector is still stable despite the global health crisis. This is the underlying reason why we continue to provide virtual trainings for contact center services. This is to support the manpower requirements of our industry partners in Negros-Occidental that has helped us fuel our economy during this pandemic. The Negros-Occidental Training for Work Scholarship Program is funded by the Office of Governor Eugenio bong Laxon under the Gender and Development Program. As you finish your course today, you have fulfilled another milestone in your lives. You have proven that despite poverty and the challenges of the pandemic, you were able to coexist and survive. As you transition to the world of work, I urge you to look at the opportunities. You have to be resilient, adaptive, and creative. Be the solution. Our economy is badly hit because of the pandemic. Many are jobless. Many are hopeless but you are all fortunate as scholars of the province. So don't miss the chance to be the source of hope of your family. You will never know the impact of your employment to your family once you start to receive your first salary and provide food for your siblings. Learn to adapt to the new protocols in the workplace. According to experts, for some time, we cannot go back to our normal ways. We need to keep moving forward. The completion of your training is just the beginning of your transformation. 
evolve and grow as knowledge graduates. Focus on your potentials and always remember this. Don't put limits to yourselves. Stretch yourselves to the limits and be the person you want to be. Again, welcome to this graduation ceremony. Let's stay safe, take care of ourselves and each other. Knowledge inspire, knowledge cares. Avance, neglense. Thank you, Dr. Arbisito, for that meaningful welcome address. Now, let's see continues to deliver relevant and COVID-free training programs through the strong support and discerning leadership of our governor, Governor Eugenio Sebong Lacson. Let us hear his pre-recorded message. We need to find ways to give you, our graduates, the acknowledgement and confirmment you rightfully deserve. Come to think of it, your achievement has never been more material and pertinent than it is now. The knowledge you acquired through Nolitsi will be more relevant given that technology will be among the controlling elements of the new normal. Given your training, you have the capacity to create solutions based on the needs we are going to face in the new normal. And as we digitalize to minimize personal interactions. Indeed, necessity is the mother of all inventions. Education and improving our educational policies are among the top priorities of the present administration and I am confident that your training with Nulitsi equip you with the training and skills you need to be able to transcend your limitations and be society's ally in responding to our ever-changing needs. To our scholars, congratulations. May you advance to be confident individuals, responsible citizens, and effective contributors to the community. To our partners, thank you for providing our graduates the opportunity they need. You did not just open the doors for them, but you extended a hand to usher them to reach their dreams. The province of Negros Occidental is grateful. To all the parents, guardians and mentors, my deepest appreciation for your tireless support to our students and trainees. Supporting them is a mutual responsibility of the government and the home. To the Negros Occidental Language and Information Technology Center, headed by Dr. Tina Orbisido, thank you. Please continue your sincere efforts in empowering the youth of Negros Occidental. Thank you. Stay safe. God bless us all. Avance, Nigrense. Thank you very much, our dear Governor. Our keynote speaker for today is the representative of the 3rd District of the Province of Negros Occidental. He is the chairperson of the Committee on Housing and Urban Development and sits in 12 other committees in the House of Representatives. He represents his brother, now the consultant of the Province for Economics and Investments, former Congressman Alfredo Abilardo Albi Benitez. He is the former president of the Philippine Women University and was an assistant professor at the University of Washington, Seattle. For his extra extraordinary work and leadership in education, he received the award for outstanding contribution to education in the 2017 Asia's Education Excellence Awards. He earned his master's degree and doctorate degree in comparative literature, minor in Southeast Asian Studies from the University of Wisconsin-Madison, and his bachelor's degree in comparative literature, summa cum laude, and English cum laude from Cornell University. 
Though active and busy, he never forgets to go around and talk to his constituents. A few of the bills he is working in Congress are the following. House Bill 9057 mandates internet service providers to roll over data in the next month or promo period and convert unused data at year end for load rebate. House Bill 9004 provides for a national framework to promote lifelong learning. House Bill 8034, District Office of the LTO in EB Magalona, now on final reading. He is also the chair of the working group on Bayanihan 3 and co-sponsored in the plenary session, the substitute bill that will provide ayuda for all Filipinos. The congressman pushed for the bill that will ban single-use plastics to, pre to prevent leakage and harm to the environment. He chaired the technical working group that drafted the bill that mandates producers to recover plastic wastes and promote behavioral change among consumers to end the habit of the use of single-use plastics. Mm -hmm. He drafted the bill which will establish data centers, digital learning, and innovation hubs in every province in the country. He facilitated the convergence meeting on the rehabilitation of infrastructures in the third district of Negros Occidental damaged by recent flooding. Knowledge trainers and staff, Dear graduates, ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pride and honor that I present to you the 175th Culmination Ceremony keynote speaker, the Honorable Congressman Jose Francisco Kiko Bantog Benitez. Good morning. Can, can I be heard? Congressman, good morning. Yes. yes, you can hear me. Okay, thank you. Uh, start off by greeting Governor Lacson, uh, Dulitsi Administrator, Dr. Orbisedo, uh, Provincial GAD team led by Mary June Castro, of course, and all the Dulitsi instructors and coordinators and the graduates and their families. Um, Ayo Agas, Amy Tanan. Una sa tanan, kapangayo ako pasensya sa inyo na si Manong Albi, hindi makaupod sa aton sa aga na ini, no? Uh, but on behalf of my brother, um, I would like to extend our congratulations to all the graduates and their families. May your certification today open up new opportunities for you and your families, lead to higher income and higher standards of living. Ang abansin ninyo, asenso man na muntanan. Reskilling or developing new skills or acquiring new knowledge is crucial to adapt to, the, to satisfy the new demands of the job market. The COVID-19 pandemic has accelerated the digital transformation of many economic activities. The increasing digitalization of production, of distribution of goods and services. Under the fourth industrial revolution requires new skill sets that we must provide. The shift of responsibilities uh, from humans to machines and algorithms threatens to make certain jobs obsolete and to displace our workers. Our workers should not be left behind, and our workforce must be able to transition from manual to digital jobs. The digital revolution must be complemented with a reskilling revolution. Uh, the IT BPO sector has been leading in digital transformation in the country. The industry has evolved from just providing call center services and is now providing a wide range of services to clients around the world, from customer support to accounting, from telemarketing to engineering design and animation. Digital services from big data to blockchain now comprise the majority of IT BPO services. From 35% in 2016, Digital services have grown to 71% of outsourcing transactions in 2019. But for example, the global business strategy firm Tholons has warned that, quote, going forward, the old model of people-based outsourcing will decline and decay. This needs to be significantly augmented by AI and intelligent automation-driven solutions, close quote. Automated driven solutions threaten our current patterns of digital transformation, and we need to respond accordingly. As such, we have to accelerate 
the reskilling of our IT BPO workers. I congratulate Nulitsi. It has trailblazed the reskilling revolution in Negros, preparing our youth to work in call centers or IT firms in the digital arena as a whole. It has shifted furthermore to online classes and transformed their modes of education appropriate to the digital world they are embracing, particularly in the time of the pandemic. The challenge for Nulitsi moving forward is to constantly update its training programs to develop not only digital literacy or customer relationship management, but also higher tier cognitive abilities such as critical thinking, creativity, and complex problem solving. Especially as AI transforms the IT BPO industry and we move up the value chain in our digital capacities and services. These skills will enable our workforce to become competitive data analysts, software developers, e-commerce and social media specialists, and generally more um, desired and in-demand digital workforce. To help Nulitsi and educational institutions nationwide to design new programs to promote digital literacy and enhance the competitiveness of our workforce, I filed House Bill number 6874. If passed into law, primary and higher education and TVET programs and curricula will be designed according to UNESCO and International Telecommunications Union's frameworks to make our IT program graduates globally competitive across the different categories and formal and informal programs of learning. The bill also provides for capacity building for IT teachers and trainers following the UNESCO ICT competency framework. The bill mandates local government units to transform local infrastructure, bureaucracy, institutions, and natural environments to become smart cities and hubs, nexus of creative digital production. Hopefully Congress approves the bill soon so we may see more Nulitsis, more IT programs, more IT graduates, and better IT workers in Negros and in the Philippines as a whole. Digital transformation is our ticket to economic recovery and key to sustained economic growth. Innovating business processes, using digital technologies and developing digital skills have provided many businesses and workers a lifeline in the pandemic and has enabled them to survive the disruptions in the market. Digital transformation has been our means to survive in this pandemic and increasingly our means to thrive in the new normal. It is no wonder that Governor Laxon has embarked on initiatives to speed up the rollout of fiber optic cables and improving access to internet province-wide to ensure Negros's digital transformation. A digital future is our national destiny. Let us work together to fulfill this destiny. Asenso para sa tanan, abanse ni Grense, madam o gid na salamat sa inyo. Maayong aga sa inyo tanan. Thank you very much, the Honorable Congressman Kiko Benitez. We are so delighted and happy for your news, for that message. Yes, indeed. We are very grateful for that insightful message and to Congressman for making this culmination ceremony a memorable one. We also wish to thank our partners for supporting us in this endeavor. We come now to the highlight of this rights, the presentation of the candidates for graduation by our assiduous and dedicated training coordinator, Mr. John Parson Hernia. Thank you, Ms. Red. Yes, sir. Um, Honorable Congressman Francisco Kiko Benetes, Dr. Maria Cristina Orbisido, not at Chief Vocational School Administrator, Ms. Mary Jun P. Castro, industry partners, parents, trainers, trainees, and guests, good morning. As training coordinator of Knowledge C, I have the honor to present to you the candidates 
for graduation from contact center services NC2 batches 169 to 173. I hereby certify that they satisfactorily completed all the requirements set forth by this institution and prescribed by Technical Education Skills and Development Authority. Ladies and gentlemen, CCS Batch 169 under Ms. Regina Rose Parolanan. CCS Batch 170 under Ms. Mamie P. Lunasco. CCS Batch 171 under Ms. Miramar M. Flores. CCS Batch 172 under Mr. Larry B. Franco. And lastly, CCS Batch 173 under yours truly. Congratulations. Thank you, Ms. Red. Thank you very much, Sir John Parson Hernian, Training Coordinator of Knowledge. To formally confirm the candidates for graduation, let us have again the Vocational School Administrator of Knowledge, Dr. Maria Cristina B. Arvisida. By the authority vested in me by the province of Negros Occidental and TESDA as Vocational School Administrator of Knowledge C, and having been presented by our training coordinator and duly certified by our acting registrar, you have completed all the requirements prescribed by TESDA. I now confirm you graduates of Contact Center Services NC2. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Dr. R.V. Sido. And again, congratulations to our graduates. For our dear graduates, we will be presenting to you your certificates.
our warmest congratulations to all of our dear graduates. Okay, so also we would like to inform Congressman Kiko Benitez that 17 out of our 15 59 graduates are coming from the 3rd District of the Province of Negros Occidental. <laughs> Let us give again our graduates a virtual round of applause. Congratulations graduates, learn on, inspire forward, and cultivate joy. Let us be more inspired from the testimonials of our dear trainees. Happiness and success are seeds. They are the ground that causes them to spring up and blossom. No condition is permanent. You can change things. Honored guest, Dr. Maria Cristina B. Orbisido, Vocational School Administrator of Knowledge C, trainers and staff, fellow graduates, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Those are the words of Rene de Frey. And I can attest that it is true. Before enrolling Knowledge C, I was a working student in Central Philippine Adventist College for nine years until I finished college. I was reviewing for board examination for teachers, but due to pandemic, our examination was postponed. In order to occupy myself, make use of my time, and not be a burden to my family, I decided to work as a babysitter in the campus, and I still am up to this time. My struggles and challenges during our class include setting aside the time for class because sometimes i had a class at 10 but the baby was still awake that moment i had no problem with the connection because in our school connection is good i answered my model during my free time my experience here in knowledge was great if given a chance to work in a call center company in the future i would grab that opportunity because not all interested are qualified in this kind of work. Looking forward to the day when I can be more productive because of a more stable, financially rewarding job that is made possible by Knowledge C. I have improved my communication skills and gained self-confidence thanks to Ms. Rigi for her patience and efforts. Above all, to God who made these things possible. Hats off to our trainer, who is so kind, very approachable, and kind-hearted. Even though I cannot see her in person, but with the way she handled us, I can testify to it. Therefore, as stated in 1 Thessalonians 5.18, In every circumstances, give thanks to God, in Christ Jesus towards you. Whatever circumstances that we face, just thank God. As long as knowledge is here, there's nothing to worry about because they are willing to help us. Thank you, Governor Eugenio Jose Bongolakson for the scholarship. Thank you, Noletsi family. God bless us all. Education is a lifelong process. To our beloved Governor, Honorable Eugenio Jose Bong Villaria Lacson, Knowledge C Vocational School Administrator, Dr. Maria Cristina B. Orbisida, Knowledge C Trainers, Staff, Co-Trainees, a pleasant afternoon. It is a great honor and pleasure to deliver this speech on behalf of all the trainees of the Contact Center Services NC2 Watch 170. I am Vanessa Sinelto Ricarion, 22 years old, and I live in Purok Bacos, Barangay Maab, Bago City, Negros Occidental. For a small glimpse of my life before I entered the training, I can say that it is full of ups and downs, most especially when my father died when I was in grade 5, while having two brothers, two sisters, and an employed mom. I sold different foods, collected garbage, accepting tutorial classes, and did projects of my cousin and friends before doing mine to help my mom not to worry about my needs when I was in primary and secondary school. And I graduated both elementary 
and secondary with honors. During my college years, my, sleep, my sleepless nights were also paid off when I graduated my bachelor degree of elementary education with concentration in general education as cum laude at Baguio City College class 2019 and passed the licensure examination for teachers last September at the same year. I first heard knowledge see through my Facebook friend Luis Matovillas. It really caught my attention and I asked him how to avail the program. During the time, I thought was that I am really eager to learn, build my self-confidence again, enhance my communication skills, and be trained through a scholarship to become a customer service representative. And I learned more about knowledge through the admission trainers induction program on how to avail the program and to use the different platforms like Microsoft Teams, Microsoft Word, Microsoft Publisher, and Microsoft PowerPoint during our digital literacy training. I will share not only my experience during the training under my trainer in CCS 170, Ms. Mayme Pilonasco, but also my co-trainees under her. We knew each other through our sharing our life experiences that inspired and made us feel comfortable with each other and treat each other as a family. We would always start and end our training session with a Bible verse and a prayer. We experience as well difficulties, but we are very eager and willing to learn this part of the struggle in the new normal way of teaching and learning process. We enjoy the entire online training because we shared our ideas and opinions with the guidance of our trainer. We also had times of laughter that we had and we had to adjust for each other so that no one were left behind. We also learned not to compete with one another but also to help to pass the training session together. Regarding with the module, it helped us to think critically, understand it in our, it on our own and research if needed, asking for help from his mate if we really don't understand it. The module also helped us to be patient and focused that made us more independent in dealing with our own mistakes and monitoring our learning that made us feel happy because since we know we did our best to reach our goal to pass the test. Lastly, the significant learning not only what I have learned but also my co trainees that despite of the struggles we are facing, we don't need to be afraid because it helps us to grow because to grow, become strong, independent, and it strengthens our faith to God because He is always there for us. We need to be more patient, understanding, accept criticism in a positive way, find solution to our problems, be passionate in what we are doing, and make the customers feel better. We must always give good impression and not be ashamed of our weaknesses, but instead be confident in our strengths. Like is a journey we don't stop growing once we get our certificates life is about growing and being part of this program gives each of us new opportunities to continue growing and to learn new skills that we will carry for the rest of our lives we don't stop here this graduation has already shown us how capable all all of us in accomplishing our goals to finish this training despite of the struggles we had. We committed ourselves to achieve this. I hope all of us here attending the virtual ceremony can take this personal accomplishment as, ex as an example of how anything is truly possible. Anything is truly possible when you put your mind and heart in what you're doing, as well as continue on our lives after this. Let us take new trials on with confidence knowing that we already achieved great heights and equipped with the necessary skills to face our future. God bless us all. Hard work and patience are the two most important virtues that any employees should bear in a workplace. And I gained those attributes 
Throughout the years of working as a factory worker and welder in different companies that I worked into. Good morning everyone. I'm Gillard Arbas Kinyas, 24 years old from Victoria City. When I was 7, my father died. So, I was raised by a single mother with no job. But fortunately, we were supported by my aunt. The early death of my father is the reason why I wasn't able to go to college because of financial difficulties. I tried my very best to enroll in a vocational course and with God's grace, I was able to achieve machinist and welder course. Then, I worked in different cities in Manila and there, I learned how to be mature and develop the values of hard working and patience and I was able to help my mother financially. Of course, everything has its pros and cons. Although I was able to help my family, however, in the end, I felt a lot of body pain and I could not do the things I usually do. That's why I decided to stop working as a welder. And when I passed my resume in PESO, then I was given a chance to be a trainee here in Nolitsi. And working in call center is very new to me. Frankly speaking, I'm not really fluent in English, but I'm trying my best to do all of this for myself and my mother. I always wanted to have a stable job and have some friends who are enjoying their salary by working in BPO company. If given this wonderful chance, I could imagine myself having a better life. Going through this training every day gave me new learnings and seeing everybody do different tasks and be able to accomplish it. It is a very good sign of improvement. Before I end, I would like to extend my deepest gratitude to our beloved Governor, Honorable Eugenio Jose Bong Lacson, for this very helpful and once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. To our school administrator, Dr. Maria Cristina B. Orbisido, and to the rest of knowledge staff, to all the trainers, especially to Ms. Miramar Flores, who trusted us and helped us throughout this journey. Thank you, Ms. Mira, for all the hard work and patience you gave us for trusting me that I can do this testimony. You help us a lot. Took all the time to motivate us, and even on Saturdays and Sundays, up until midnight, I can see your true intention for helping, especially in checking our module. To my fellow trainees in CCS Batch 171, good luck to us and in our future endeavor. Once again, hard work and patience with perseverance will always give us success. I hope and I pray that all of us will land a job that will give us an opportunity to support our family and have a better future. Thank you everyone and God bless. Believe you can and you are halfway there by Future Cruise Belt. I am Jan Marini Fiseron, 27 years old from La Carlotta City. I am a single mother to my three-year-old son. Being a single parent is a hard yet fulfilling job. I am the only one who is taking care and providing for my son's needs. I used to sell online and also managed to have a small salary salary store here in our house. But as time runs, so is my son growing up, the money that I was earning was still not enough and sufficient to provide our daily needs and expenses. That's when I decided to look and apply for a job. But I guess that luck was not on my side during those times. I really had a difficult time looking for a job. Then pandemic comes, which it brings so many changes in our lives it has limited us our time our space the productivity and mostly limiting the opportunity for us to find a job and in working 
I was so devastated and I almost lose hope that I could work until one day I saw this Facebook post from BYHBRMN about a free online call center training program that was being offered by Now Let's See. I really wanted to work in a call center because I know that being able to work in a call center could really help me especially with my financial needs. Actually before I got into this training, I had already tried applying to different call centers but I always got failed. That is why I am really glad that I have been part and I was given the opportunity to have this kind of training program, a free online training from the Knowledge Sea. I have known some friends that have been scholars also here and they are already working in the call centers and I know that after this training now let's see could really help me in finding a job. That is why when given the opportunity without doubts and hesitation, I grabbed this opportunity to be a scholar. And luckily for us, we were able to have this training online in the convenience of our home. When we are starting our training, I am at first hesitant and a little bit worried that maybe I could not carry the way as a trainer and could fail. But as our training goes on, every day I have learned so many things and I just glad that I haven't given up that easily. I have learned and because of that, I have discovered and unlocked potentials in myself that I thought I could not do, but now I know that I can, and I just have to believe in myself. I am very much grateful to be part of this training program, and I would like to take this opportunity to thank everyone who have made this program possible here in our province of Negros Occidental headed by our beloved governor, Honorable Eugenio Jose Laxon. Thank you for the unending support in such programs here in our province that have changed many lives. To Negros Occidental Language and Information Technology Center, STAPS, headed by Dr. Maria Cristina Orbisito for administering and helping all of us, your scholars, and lastly, to our CCS Batch 172 instructor, Mr. Larry Franco, for guiding us, giving us your time in teaching us and coaching us for us to be ready as we will tackle the BBO industry. To my fellow trainees, good luck to all of us and may this be the start of our life-changing journey. Hello everyone, my name is Shane and Liz Priano, and I'm representing class 173 under Surgeon Parson Hernia. First of all, I would like to say thank you to Knowledge C for giving us hope and opportunity to enhance our communication skills and uh, to work in a call center in the future. From the start of our training, I know most of us in our class are having difficulties uh, in expressing ourselves in English, in pronunciation, and in grammar. But as the class go on, we learned and discovered a lot about call center and we developed our communication skills Although sometimes um, it's not easy to attend the class, especially when you are experiencing a, a bad internet connection. But since we are eager to learn and to attend class, we always find a way. So as we graduate, I hope everyone will use uh, the knowledge and skills 
that we learn from knowledge C. Thank you very much to all of our graduates who have shared their testimonials. Particularly, we would like to thank Jessa from Murcia, Vanessa from Bago, Lord from Victorious, Jen Marini, and Xian An. Thank you for letting Knowledge be your training provider. You are our true inspiration. Your dedication has brought you to where you are now. Tomorrow, new challenges and opportunities await you, our dear graduates, that will further test the metals as improving individuals. And as for the province of Negros Occidentals, through our governor, Governor Eugenio Sibonglexon, we continue to deliver responsive gender and development programs. Our dear graduates, good luck on your journey ahead. And to conclude, this memorable event with a hopeful note, let us hear from the very passionate and supportive Provincial Gender and Development Focal Point System Action Officer. May we have Ms. Mari John P. Castro. Pleasant greetings to all who are joining this morning via Zoom for the 175th culmination ceremony of the Negros Occidental Language and Information Technology Center. To Doc Maria Cristina Basa Orbisido, school administrator and her dedicated staff, to the industry partners, to the graduates and their parents, to our Provincial Guide Focal Point System Chair, the Honorable Governor Eugenio Jose Bonglaxon, and to our guest speaker, my hardworking representative in Congress, the Honorable Jose Francisco Kiko Benitez of the 3rd District of Negros Occidental, where I reside and vote. Good morning and happy Environment Month to all. Thank you, Kong Kiko, for joining live in this morning's graduation ceremony. And thank you for your inspiring message and for all the hard work that you do in Congress. You are a chair, vice chair, and member of very important committees. And for our graduates this morning, they know that they can count on you your representation on their journey after graduation because you are a member of the Information and Communications Technology, Labor and Employment, and Human Rights Committees. To the graduates, congratulations for your perseverance to complete your training despite internet issues or connectivity challenges. Thank you and congratulations also to your parents and family members for supporting you as you trained in Knowledge your training was supported by the Provincial Gender and Development Fund. As Action Officer of our Provincial GAD Focal Point System, I am happy to note that our GAD budget is really put to good use by Knowledge C, which is in fact our GAD champion. And I am always inspired by every graduation ceremony of Knowledge C, especially hearing the testimonies of our graduates or completers. We are always happy to note of your journey towards personal development and success, not only for the benefit of yourselves, but also for your families and communities. It is our vision that all those who pass through the portals of Knowledge will not only be competent in their work eventually, but will also be advocates of gender equality, women empowerment, including elimination of violence against women. Knowledge has many resources or record of webinars on gender and development issues available in Facebook or YouTube. I wish that you get to check them out and learn from them, especially those related to the recent Safe Spaces Act or Bawal Bastos Law and Reproductive Health, HIV AIDS, Mental Health, among others. You were in good hands when you were training in Knowledge as you go out in the field of work, or even as you work from home, because it is safer in these times of COVID, I assure you that our GAD Focal Point System and the provincial government of Negros Occidental, through our committed GAD advocates, will continue to initiate programs and services for your well-being. Thank you again, Nolitsi, for inviting me to this 175th culmination ceremony. Congratulations to all. Good morning. Thank you very much, Ms. Marijon P. Castro, our Gender and Development Focal Point System Action Officer. Uh, this ends our virtual culmination ceremony. Oh.